Namibia recorded 8,604 cases of TB last year, an increase of 30% compared to 2021. Dr. Shangula says it is devastating that TB cases are high while the disease is preventable and treatable. We have the tool to defeat, to, to defeat TB. We have the information to, to, to defeat TB. We have the capacity to test and detect TB and initiate those infected on effective treatment. In other words, we have the needed and necessary ways and means to once and for all break the teeth and the spine of TB in our society. We also have the will and the strength to win and claim victory over TB. Dr. Shangula also encourages door-to-door -door outreach programs for people that have not started treatment while taking septum for testing to those with symptoms. Also speaking at the event was Dr. Charles Sagwe Moses, the World Health Organization representative. More efforts are needed by the health sector to allocate additional resources to improve the quality of, of TB diagnosis, prevention, treatment and care services, support and empower health workers to deliver high quality uh, services, expand high quality services for children and adolescents, empower the community to combat the disease, especially when it comes to you know, stigma and discrimination, and engage other sectors through a multi-sectorial accountability framework mechanism. The Ju Oansi Traditional Authority Chief called on residents to take their treatment seriously as Tsumkwe is the hotspot of drug-resistant TB cases. You have heard from the testimonies that people have recovered from TB. The government spends a lot of money just to help you, so take our tablets and be free of TB. Curable diseases should not be killing us. Sumko was the first area to provide drugs resistant treatment to patients without hospitalizing them. The minister also donated gene expert testing equipment to enable the settlement to diagnose TB and give the patients their results instantly. TB Foundation donated food items to TB patients as one of the determinants of the disease is poverty and malnutrition. The foundation also gave $61,000 sponsored by Dundee for e-bikes to enable easy transportation of TB medication to patients.